This is Lenovo Tab M8 and today I would like to demonstrate that you can set up parental controls on this device. So to start you will need to launch settings, onwards enter the accounts category, see if you have any Google accounts added to your system, if you have some you gotta get rid of those accounts or well, remove them simply. After this step is out of the way, return to the general settings page and enter the Google category this time. At the Google page, you will need to tap at the parental controls, then get started, child or teen, next. Now you gotta sign into your child's Google account or the Google account that you have created to serve as such. So let me quickly do that off the screen. Then just proceed with the Google sign in as you would normally do. You know, accept all the terms, set up all the backup preferences and what's not, just the regular stuff. Uh, Then so select the account that you have just logged into from the list over here. And now you gotta enter the another, I mean you gotta enter the Google account credentials, but this time for your parent, your parental account. Or the account that you will use to supervise your child's or supervise the activity. So you know the drill, enter the email address, follow it by account password then once the google account of the parent gets checked you will be forwarded to the about supervision page which you will need to scroll all the way down and at this field type in the password to the child's google account one more time tap at the agree button at the following dialog window go for the allow option and wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked Click next. Next two steps, this one and the following one we can skip as for right now since you will be able to configure those preferences later on and currently I would assume that we are more focused on finishing this setup sooner so I will skip those steps. From here there are two ways you can proceed. Uh, if the device highlighted over here is the device that you will use as a parent you can tap at the blue button and the required app will get automatically downloaded and installed on your device device or you can simply skip this step and do that manually which is not any harder if you ask me so simply take uh, let me wipe its screen real quick because it's looked real messy so uh, i will take the phone phone that let's pretend i'll use as a parent now you will need to download and install the Family Link app from the Play Store. That's a free app by Google, so you should not uh, encounter any difficulties while doing so. Once the app was installed, you will obviously need to launch it. The only important step over here is to make sure that you are signing into the app with the parental Google account that we have earlier signed into over here. So make sure to be aware and cautious of that. And inside the app itself, you can do all kinds of stuff. For example, you can um, set the daily device usage limits for a child or downtime routine perhaps, turn on and turn off apps, set app restrictions or well, app usage limits as well. So for example, your child cannot use the TikTok application more than uh, hour a day, as well as monitor all, your, uh, all, all the app activity that your child does. You can also apply content and age restrictions, configure the account settings, manage devices, monitor your child's live location, and see the child's device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that will be more or less it guys. Thanks for watching and bye bye.